Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw parabola by directrix focus method. So remember, for parabola, eccentricity is equal to 1. Means distance of point P from focus is equal to distance of that point from the directrix. So let us take a problem statement. Construct a parabola when distance of focus from the directrix is equal to 50 mm. So here directrix and focus is given means we can draw the parabola by directrix focus method. So let us draw by step by step. So first we have to draw a vertical line AB which is directrix. So if we have to draw curve here then we have to draw that vertical line that directrix on this side like this. So this vertical line AB which is directrix. Now on this directrix AB we have to take point C such that we have to take point C approximately at midpoint of this AB and from this point C we have to draw a horizontal axis perpendicular to directrix AB. So this is horizontal axis. So this is the horizontal axis of the parabola. Now in the problem statement it is given that distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm. So from this directrix on this axis measure 50 mm and mark the point focus. So at 50 mm we can mark the point focus. Now for parabola eccentricity is 1. So we have to locate vertex. So vertex it is the point on the curve and we have to locate the vertex such that it will maintain the eccentricity is equal to 1. So eccentricity is the distance of point on curve from the focus joined by distance of the same point from the directrix. And here for parabola it is equal to 1 means distance of phi from focus and from directrix it is same. So here CF is equal to 50 mm. So vertex will be at 25 mm from C. So if you take VF upon VC is equal to 1. So it will maintain the eccentricity is equal to 1. The parabola curve will be passing through this vertex V. So to draw the parabolic curve we need number of points and to get number of points on the curve let us mark points on right side of vertex like this. It is not compulsory to mark at equidistance but if you mark at equidistance then we will get equispaced points. So give the names to this point as 1, 2, 3, 4 and draw vertical lines from these points perpendicular to axis like this. Now I have explained how to draw ellipse and hyperbola by directrix focus method in another videos. So similar to that procedure we can draw parabola also. So we can draw a vertical line from V and mark point E such that Vf is equal to Ve. Then draw line passing from CE. Then in compass take distance is equal to 1 1 dash. Take focus as the center and draw arc on 1 1 dash. Now here this 1 1 dash distance and C1 distance it is same because slope of this CE is equal to 1. So distance 1 1 dash is equal to distance C1. So instead of taking distance 1 1 dash in compass we can take C1. Similarly instead of taking distance 2 2 dash we can take distance C2. So here in parabola, it is not required to locate point E and to draw this line CE. Instead of taking distance 1 1 dash, we will take distance C1, then distance C2, then distance C3 and so on. So here, as slope of line CE is equal to 1, the distance C1 is equal to distance 1 1 dash. So, while drawing the ellipse and hyperbola, by focus directrix method we were taking distance 1 1 dash but here in parabola this 1 1 dash is equal to c1 so instead of taking 1 1 dash we can take distance c1 so here in parabola it is not required to draw this ce line and instead of 1 1 dash we can take distance c1 in the compass so in compass take distance is equal to c1 take focus as a center 
and draw arcs on the line passing from one on both side of axis and mark the point P1 and P1 dash like this. Then take distance in compass is equal to C2. Then take F as a center and mark points on a line passing from 2 on both sides of axis like this. And mark the point P2 and P2 dash. Then take distance is equal to C3. Take center is equal to F and mark the point on line passing from 3 on both side of axis like this. Similarly, take distance is equal to C4. Take focus as a center and draw arc on both side of line passing from 4. And mark the point P4 and P4 dash. So in this way we will get number of points and we can join these points to get a parabola. So we can draw by freehand or we can use the fringe curve. So here let us use fringe curve. So match the arc of fringe curve with these points and draw the arc like this. So this curve it is symmetric with this axis. So this side will match with the points on upper side of axis also. So flap this fringe curve and match the points and draw the arc like this. So this is the parabola curve and we can give the dimension. So distance of focus from the directrix it is 50. So we can give that dimension here like this. Go to the description of this video. Here I have given links of other videos related to engineering curves and other topics from the engineering graphics subject. Thank you.